So your team obviously didn't get all the way to the Super Bowl, but there was a little bit of that like peaking at the right time last year. Are you were you after the season over? Could you have a moment where you're like, man, that was really good? Like we it was, and I tried to tell our team that I think they were frustrated and everybody was disappointed that we weren't going to be able to play uh, for a championship. But I was proud of the way that they continue to improve um, from where we were the early part of the season, uh, and we did we were playing our best football late. Um, but I think they also realized, and, I, and everybody did, that that's a tough road to go down a four straight ro uh, road playoff games mm -hmm. is essentially what we did. It was Houston, New England, Baltimore, Kansas City. And that's not the way, that's not the recipe to, to win a championship. We're going to have to play well enough during the season to be able to host some of those games. Yeah. So during uh, the start of that playoff run, you guys play against New England. That was a great game. Before the game, you played, what was it, Catch Me If You Can? Like a clip as like a motivational so I, I always enjoy that movie uh what frank abagnale jr mm -hmm. and the dad you know is, is in debt and he needs to get a loan and he pulls his son up in, in his cadillac and they're in these nice suits and young frank doesn't understand what they're doing and his dad's like we're gonna act like we have money and this bank manager is gonna walk out here and he's gonna open the door for us and frank's still figuring all this out and then he says you know why the Yankees always win? He said, because they have Mickey Mantle. He says, no, because everybody's always staring at the pinstripes. And I kind of like it. And just a nice message to be like, there's going to be, when we get there and we go out on the field, there's going to be six banners that say world champion. Boom, boom, boom. Like, that's not going to determine the game, was my only point. Was like, let's not stare up at the banners and worry about what they've done. We, we got to go try to compete with them. That's like Hoosiers measuring the hoop. No, same difference. Ten, mm -hmm. ten, feet, ten feet, same thing. Ollie getting on the Come guy's on. shoulders. Come on, ten feet, all-time mm -hmm. moment. I almost want to go call my dad and yeah. maybe cry right yeah, now. Yeah, let's it, do it. You probably knew all the tricks that Belichick was going to pull out, like putting the uh, the giant thermometers in the hallways, letting you know that it's actually like 10 degrees colder than you think that it is. It's, you know, just keeping everybody updated on the weather report. <laughs> yeah, all right, so let's talk about the tricks. When you guys, when you basically became a time traveler in that game. How long had you known that that loophole was there? And for, that for a while, it's just unfortunate that we were never in a situation to use it. You have to be <laughs> ahead in the fourth quarter, right? Um, in that situation with the clock running outside of five minutes, and you know, whatever the league chooses to do, we're gonna we're gonna play by the rules that they give us, and and that was available to us. Were you when you like saw the situation and it first clicked, like, uh oh, here we go. Like, I'm about to time travel. Well, I'm I think so you excited, just try to – Especially I, to Belichick. You know, I think what you try to do is try to anticipate what the situations in the game can be. Um, you were excited. Don't give me coach speak. Well, no, I'm just when trying to like, say, like, oh, it's man. not like spur to moment. It's like, okay, depending on what happens here, like, are, are we going to go for it? Um, you hit the – And you, then we had a penalty, so it was like – let's a perfect just, storm. You, it was. you did the Rainbow Road shortcut. You just jumped past like you know half of the track. Right. It, it was. It's. It's something that we felt like could help us win the game. As yeah. coach speak as I it's could possibly speak. be. Okay. Whether whoever was on the in, other sideline, we would have executed that situation. In that <laughs> moment, though, as it was happening, as you were time traveling, were you trying hard not to smile because you knew how cool it was? No. I mean, I think that I've realized I've gotten good at being able to to vomit. And, and puke in my mouth without showing when bad things happen. So I try to do the same thing when good things happen, is just try to stay, keep my composure. Okay, so after the game, after that game, you had some fun with Tom Brady's hyenas video. Uh, do you think that's going to hurt your recruitment of him? I thought that was actually a great compliment uh, to our football team. Nice spin Because zone. that's who I think we want to be, is, is, is these animals that, that hunt and travel in packs and – um, are competitive, um, vicious, and, and I think that's how we um, tried to approach our, our game and our preparation. Okay, so and then afterwards in the, in the uh, hallway, you and Tom shared a moment. I read that, and then afterwards, so I think you were asked, and you're like, we're going to keep that between us. So now that you're well, here, Well, I mean, it's what, like Tom's there with say? his family, I'm there with my family yeah, and the say? kids, and yeah, tell the same them. thing we, you know, I mean, I don't See even think Nashville. we talked about the, the game. No, I mean, it was about tax. the kids. Yeah. Th really those nice conversations farms. haven't come up. I mean, I have a Jay relationship Cutler. with a lot of guys yeah. um, that yeah. still play because very few tomatoes grown locally. Mm -hmm. It's a great it's, time here. We have Whole Foods. No real There's a Whole, food. There's a whole yeah. Foods in, in Nashville. You like live Believe music, it or not. Tom? Okay, well, I got live I mean, music for you. I don't want to get you into one of these tampering <laughs> situations because I know the league, they monitor this stuff. They pay attention. Don't to worry about getting me into anything. Well, yeah. I'll, Just I'll, ask we'll whatever question you guys want. Just Here's the thing. 
Hank legally changed his name to Tom Brady yesterday. So if you were to recruit Tom Brady to come play for Hank. you, what would you say to Tom? What, what's Hank do? He just moves the camera back and forth yeah, a little bit? His name's Pretty Tom. Much. Yeah, Tom. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. His, his name's Tom Brady. So if he, you were he to wants to work Tom, for the social media team for the Titans. Tom Brady wants to work for you. Mm -hmm. What would you say to Tom? Well, we have Twitter Nate. I, Twitter, I, we know Nate. Twitter Nate. Yeah. He's been uh -huh. a longtime fan. We've talked to him. He was with the Rams and now the Fort, uh, the with you guys. So talk to him. Pitch, pitch Tom Brady over there. Right the I, I haven't followed what he does. I mean, I, my not, my new guy is uh, is Dana, right? Oh, Dana's taking me. Taking you like uh -huh. beers? He's yeah. getting. Married. I mean, he's yeah. taking. Yeah. Are they really doing it? Yeah. I, I'm going to be so. a bridesmaid. I think so. I might have to. Can I like do something? Be an usher or something? Yeah, yeah, Bride yeah. or groom and walk him down. A, what are you doing on Saturday? It's at Denny's in Las Vegas. Sa this Saturday? Yeah. I'll be at the combine. <laughs> oh shit! All right. How much do you like? What do you actually get out of the combine? Because we're we're. Talking I love about the interviews. I love being able to sit down. I try to pretend like I'm you guys and just grill people and grill players and just misdirection. And so what's the what's the go to interview question? No, I change cat it. or a dog. I don't, I don't like write it down. I don't write the questions down on a notepad and do, go down there read, like you I, do. I, either way, uh, I mean, but I, I just kind of go and questions. whatever they say, I try to follow up. I have. Don't defend what you have. I can show you my notes right here. That's okay. Hyenas, Derek Henry. Um, Derek Henry. They're really getting married. Oh, Derek. Yes, yeah, they're getting they married are. on <laughs> Saturday. Saturday. Marriage made in heaven. Yeah, yes. literally at a Denny's, a Denny's restaurant. They look like they're in love and they're having fun. They yes. are definitely Wait, having ask fun. Ask us a combine question though. Give us one, just one. You maybe one that you used to use that you don't use anymore. We walk in, we're in our sweats. Hey, coach, I don't look you in the eye when I give you a handshake. Red flag. Put your hood down. You know what I mean? Like yep, the guys yep. that have the hood Give down. Give me some like eye that. contact, right? Sit up straight. No, I mean, it's just they got to try to find a way to get us to to want to go and watch more of their tape. And, you know, sometimes are they engaging? Um, you know, one player said, said, what's a um, best part of your game? And he goes, aggressiveness. And I was like, the next time you say the word aggressiveness, say it a little louder than aggressiveness. That was, a, that was actually uh -huh. a – negotiating trick though whisper and then the person has to say what no it was a, now you're it was, the beta no it was uh, i'm aggressive <laughs> I'm like are you <laughs>